panel started out, he had several stitch patterns and they numbered them 6, 8, 10, 12, but the original one is this stitch pattern here and it's called our number 12 pattern. And it's recognizable all over the world to boot connoisseurs. And if you're in an airport and they have a shine guy that's been there a long time and he sees this pattern on top of your boots, he'll ask you if your leddy boots need shining. My name's Sammy Farmer and uh, I'm the sales manager here at ML Leddy's and I've been here about 24 years this time. Worked here in high school and college and ventured off into some other things and ended up back here about 24 years ago. This company started in 1922 in Brady, Texas. Uh, ML Letty started there, moved over to Menard in the mid-30s and came on to San Angelo. So there's been an ML Letty presence in San Angelo since the mid-30s. Along about 1970 or 72, they bought out uh, ML's brother in Fort Worth and, and obtained another store there, which is kind of where our headquarters is now. But we've been building cowboy boots here in this vicinity for nearly 100 years. Consequently, we've got generations after generations that are wearing our boots, you know, and our boots go all over the world. These boots are very unique because they're made for your foot. And, and we, when we measure your feet, we, we make a mock-up last of your foot. Then we build a boot around it. So they're very comfortable, guaranteed to fit, and we make them the old-fashioned way. They're all handmade. Uh, we've got equipment over there that we make boots with that's nearly 100 years old. And they're made in such a way that they can be rebuilt over and over and over. So it's a bargain in the long run. They're a little more money up front but they're made to where they can have new soles put on them over and over, where the rest of the, a lot of the other boot lines don't do that. My name is Liz Treadwell, and I've worked at ML Letty's off and on for the better part of 20 years, a big part of my life, and I'm currently a clerk and a little bit of everything at the ML Letty store in San Angelo. In an AM radio, you just had a few little channels to tune right there. And one of the most interesting things that we have in our store is our what we call our singing saddle. And in the early years in the 30s and 40s before ML Letty had a huge boot business built up, he would make up novelties and different kinds of things and take them all across the southwestern United States and sell them to mercantiles. And one of the things was called the singing saddle and he made up this big beautiful saddle and it's from the 50s. And it has a radio in the swells, an AM radio, which is all you had in the 50s. And that's why the swells are so big. And you've got a button back here to turn it off and on, tune it, and the big speaker here. And then your little batteries are back here in your little saddle packs. And every boot maker has their own little emblem. And you don't borrow from each other. You can borrow stitch patterns, but you don't borrow your toe emblem. As a courtesy to them, we normally don't advertise that. Uh, but we do have movie stars and singers and famous ones that you would know and football owners that you would know that wear blue boots with a star in the top. The store in Fort Worth, we have a lot of people that come in there to get measured because that's where, the, you know, the big airport, Dallas. So uh, we sell a lot of boots out of there and, we, and they see a lot of those type of people all the time. Well, it's just, it just goes hand in hand with, when you think of boots, you think of ML Letty's. I mean, that, and not just here, that's gotten to be, there's people come in here every day to visit the store that are coming through here that have heard about us. And up north, there were some people in here yesterday from Wisconsin. You know, they'd heard about ML Letty's, they wanted to come see the store. We're selling a lot of boots right now in the, in the Permian Basin up there, Midland, Odessa presidents and vice presidents and executives of those oil companies. And once they, they get on a pair of Letty boots, they're, they're in, you know, they love them. <laughs>